A lot of people these days are asking about the wind noise of the Tesla Model Y, its interior, ride, and the build quality. You know that Tesla just a few weeks ago started to deliver the Tesla Model Y and this is why we have this interest. In this video, I'm going to tell you what one new Model Y owner says about Tesla Model Y's, Model Y's wind noise, build quality, interior, and the ride after owning the car for 10, 10 days. He is a second owner in Charlotte. Hello everyone, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. As I'm starting to tell you about the Model Y's qualities from an owner after 10 days of ownership, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell and like this video to show your appreciation of all the people who helped me to bring daily Tesla reports and electric car reports uh, to our subscribers and viewers. Now, a Reddit user named DE11KBN just uh, an hour ago posted his experience with the Tesla Model Y after owning the car for 10 days. It's very interesting and reads very well and I wanted to share it with you uh, and this person is in Charlotte, North Carolina and I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina too, too and let's see what he says. So this person says after owning the car for 10 days, I received my Model Y on the 18th in Charlotte, North Carolina. All wheel drives with zucchinis and I thought I would share my thoughts after having the car for 10 days. I traded in my Model S 6, uh, 60 2016 December, uh, in December, so all my Tesla experiences is what model um, was then old glass roof was first introduced, but I have driven a P100D as well as Model X. I have Ubered in a Model 3 as well. Now, he talks about the wind noise. He says, my conclusion is that it is less than Model S. Almost all of the noise seems to come from the back area where the glass roof has a gap with the hatch. Noise is more apparent above 50 miles per hour. The engine is super quiet, hence you hear everything. I have heard the same thing from other Model Y owners about the Model Y's wind noise. About the interior, he says, all the things you may have read or watched on YouTube are true. It's roomy, nice seats, and overall, tremendous amount of storage space. All, the only drawback, he says, is loose items seem to rattle. Mm, that's not good. For example, a bottle of hand sanitizer rattled in driver's side cup holder, but not in passenger side for some reason. I don't like this either. Overall, this is a nice interior that the, uh, is a nicer interior, he says, than on the Model S. Right. It is stiff and it takes a bit getting used to Model Y. Goodyear tires don't seem to help matter as you feel every pe um, pebble in the road as I did, he says, with the Goodyear's I had the Model S. Noticing a big difference when switching to Michelin. Uh, I really wish Tesla would let you upgrade tires as well, but man, zoom, 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 this thing moves. I don't mind this stiffness after 10 days of owning the car. So that's what he said about the ride quality. Now let's talk about the build quality. He says, overall the Model Y's build quality seems quite good. I don't notice too many panel gaps, but I am not an expert in that. Once the stay at home order ends in Charlotte, where I'm also in Charlotte, uh, I plan to get it a couple of local YouTubers and have them take a look. Take, uh, there is something moving back and forth in the driver's side door. Tesla coming Monday to fix it, he says. And the T symbol in the back is starting to come off. Mm. Minor items, but since we are in uh, virus time, when I picked up the car, I did not want to uh, socialize too much. He says, overall, Tesla Model Y is an amazing car with awesome pickup. It drives more stiff uh, than Model S. It's incredible roomy. Uh, minimalist but is still quite functional. If you are thinking about it, uh, I crown this the best Tesla I have ever driven and in my humble opinion he says the best 
um, Tesla to buy. Um, Model S is all built with its design drawbacks. X has Falcon doors which won't work for many people. I could not open them uh, at all in the way my in my garage and is super expensive. Model 3 may be too small um, for a uh, number of families. So now this ends the DE11 KVN's opinion on Tesla Model Y's wind noise, ride, interior, and the build quality. But other Model Y owners on Reddit also commented with some very interesting opinions. One of them says, I find our Tesla Model 3 to be more sporty, I quote him, while our Model Y has more utility. Uh, Model 3 more sporty, Model Y more utility. He says, hands down, the Model Y is the one to use for a trip. It's easier to get in and out of, easier to load, and it holds more stuff. Uh, back seats of the Model Y are 10 times more enjoyable than the Model 3s, given that you can uh, even stretch your feet out under the front seat a bit. Uh, it's not that the Tesla Model Y isn't great to drive, he says. Uh, maybe the best driving SUV um, regarding the Model Y. He says, I don't know, it's just not the jet fighter that the Model 3 is. But since most people seem to really enjoy the size and handling of SUVs, I'm sure the Model Y will be a huge hit. But if you are sitting at home with a Tesla Model 3 you enjoy and wondering if the Model 3 is just a better, um, is, if, if wondering if the Model Y is just a better Model 3 as he supposed at one time. He says, I would have to say that Model Y is quite a bit more bulky and rides differently. It's just something to, to consider. Other people are saying that the Model Y's wind noise being less than Model S is a huge advantage. They compare the wind noise with the Model 3 and say their Model 3 wind noise is much worse than the wind noise on Model S. So um, this is a little bit more information for the people who have ordered their Tesla Model Y and are waiting it to arrive in the mail. You know what I was thinking since this person is in Charlotte and he also wants to, um, wants to meet some uh, YouTubers in the area, I'm going to try to contact him on, uh, on, on Reddit and uh, maybe he will see this video as well and see what he, if he will be willing to meet me after this stay at home order ends. Uh, I don't know how it will, uh, uh, I would, it will go, but once this ends, maybe we can get together since both of us are in Charlotte and uh, make some videos and do some presentations of the Model Y. Uh, if you are interested in this, please uh, comment what questions you would like to be answered. Or if you are a model owner and you are watching this video uh, and would like to help to do remote video conferencing, let me know please. I would like to talk to you and maybe ask you to talk about certain things in front of camera next to your Model Y and you can email it to me or send it to me and I will present it with our subscribers and you, view, um, viewers on the YouTube channel here at Torque News. So uh, more and more Model Ys are coming, more and more people I see are being excited about the Model Y. So we heard about the wind, wind noise. Did you pay attention? Did you notice that he said the wind noise is more apparent after you drive beyond 50 miles per hour because the engine is so quiet, uh, every little noise can be heard. But he says the wind noise is much better than on Model 3 and better on than on Model S. And also the ride, the ride is stiff and nice and comfortable and it's a little bit bulky. So it must provide a very good driving experience. So uh, if you are watching this video and you are the owner of this car, please contact me through this YouTube channel. I would love to talk to you once this stay in home, stay at home order is over. Uh, we hope uh, that this will get over maybe by the first week of um, uh, April, which is the Easter weekend after celebrating, celebrating Easter. Hopefully this will be over soon and we can get out and show you some more cars. 
Well, dear friends, thanks for watching. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell because this channel is not very visually attractive, but I'm going to always bring you interesting information you can use. And also please like this video to show your appreciation of all the people who helped me to compile this information for you and bring it to our viewers. Have a wonderful rest of the day wherever you may be and stay well, take good care of one another. Let's always remember that we're human beings and we have to watch after one another. God bless you and I will see you in our next report. See you later.